This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Whenever you're working on a certain platform for a number of years, and in my case, my preference is Maya, you will uh, come up with certain uh, shortcuts and tips and tricks that are, you know, very helpful to your workflow. And that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. So here's my top 10 on tips and tricks in Maya 2016. Here we go. Right, you know how sometimes your controls are hard to grab? So I just created this uh, cube here. Let's say I hit W to move it. Uh, sometimes you got the controls like tucked in the corner here and it's hard to get the right one, right? Or if you want to align your object up with a grid line, it's easier if these are extended. So a very simple way to do that is just hit the plus key on your numeric keypad. By hitting plus, you extend it, and by hitting minus, you make them shorter. All right? So let's say you want to copy an object, all right? We're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit R to stretch it out. Hang on, like so. So let's say we want to copy this. We would hit Control D to copy it, hit W to move it over. And now let's say you want that to continue for a while. What you do is you hold down the shift key and hit D. So D, 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 D. And that's a very easy way to continue that process. Okay, so let's say you are not too fond with the background color that you got in Maya, okay? So what you do is you hold down the Alt key and you hit B on your keyboard, the B for Bernard or Barry or whatever. So hold down Alt and hit B, and by continuing to hit B, you can change your background color. Okay, so next tip. Let's say you have a model that is uh, low poly or fairly low poly like this. And you want to smooth it out, but you don't want to actually increase the subdivision level just yet, okay? Now, an easy way to do a preview smooth is just to simply hit 3 on your keyboard, like so. You didn't actually smooth the mesh. Uh, there's no additional uh, mesh going on, but it's a preview, and that's all it is, okay? So hit 3 on your keyboard. All right, next up, let's say you have a scene where you have a floor. You got an object and you have a light set up right here, okay? Now you probably want to know what your real-time uh, light situation will be, okay? So just to activate that light so you can see in real time what's going on, what you can do is you can hit 7 on your keyboard. And just by hitting the 7 key, you will see that the light is activated, all right? Okay guys, next up, uh, let's say we want to aim our light on our object, okay? Now, what I can do is I can hit W and control this light around, but I want to aim it onto my object here. So what you can do is you can hit the T letter for Theodore on your keyboard, which will give you an additional control. And that way, if you move that down and aim it at your object, oops, hang on, Aim it at your object, and we'll do that from the top view here. There we go. Let's make sure we're good. Yep. Yeah. So now, with that done, if you move this around, it will keep aiming at our object. Okay? That's all there's to it. Okay, next up in our list. Let's say you want to modify the shape of this cube here. Okay? If I right click and go to vertex, I can select one or multiple vertices, but maybe I want to kind of do this in a sculpting way, okay? So instead of selecting one vertex and pulling that up, which will give this a very spiky point here, what I can do is I can hit the B on my keyboard, and once I do that, my area turns into red and yellow. So if I hold down the B key and left click and drag, I can increase or decrease the impacted area. And if I do, for example, this, and then pull up, you will see that instead of that single vertex pulling up, I will have this effect, okay? All right, well, we got an object here, and what we're gonna do in this situation is we are going to duplicate this thing in a circle, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit W to move this out, 
And if I want to duplicate this in a circle, it's important that my pivot point that is now in the center of my object is on the center of the grid, okay? So I'm gonna to switch to my top view. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move that pivot point to that grid line right there. There are two ways to do that. One is to hit the insert key on your keyboard. And once you do that, you will see that this will change. And then you can move it like so, okay? So now, if I were to rotate this guy, it will rotate from that pivot point, okay? The second way to do this is instead of hitting the insert key, hang on, I'll just move that out again. Instead of hitting the insert key, you can hold down the D key, the D for dynamite, okay? So by holding that down, you got the same effect, okay? All right, we're still in this uh, scene here. Uh, what we're gonna do next is as we have our pivot point uh, centered to this grid here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to copy this guy. So I'm gonna hit Control D to duplicate. I'm gonna hit E to rotate. And this next trick is holding down the J key. If you hold down the J key while you are rotating, it will snap in sections of 15 degrees. That is very convenient sometimes. So you can see it's 15, and as I move forward, it's snapping, okay? All right. All right, guys, and finally, number 10. Um, what if you want to hide a certain object because it's in your way when you're modeling? Let's say I wanna work on the one back there, and for whatever reason, I can't reach it, okay? You can select this guy and you can hit Control H, H for hotel, so Control H to hide that object. It's not gone, it's just hidden, okay? So if you do uh, Shift plus H or go to uh, display and show all, it's back, okay?